Downtown Miami is undergoing a major facelift from one end to another. Projects include the Miami World Center, the country's second largest infill project, a new food hall and speakeasy at the former historic Walgreens, and a new jewelry building, just to name a few. But downtown Miami's largest landowner, Moish Mana, continues to practically sit still. Today, he owns 70 properties that he's accumulated over the span of nearly 10 years. He has a big vision to transform these spaces into hubs for artists, fashionistas, and techies, not to mention adding plenty of entertainment and restaurant space. What I'm doing, I'm doing something different and I'm bringing something new to the marketplace where the landlord is investing in the content of the building, investing in the neighborhood. This is part of the, of the methodology that I'm bringing here. And when I came with the vision of, of creating this tech hub and making the impact, I bought it based on philosophy and idea that I have and not based on the value per building. Uh, it's going to take time and I tell people this is not a regular condo that you can hire uh, that we're building that there's a formula and we're putting it. Many of these buildings need renovations and as you open them up uh, different issues pop, uh, you know, comes in and different departments have to answer and takes the process much longer on some of them. But regardless, we have, you know, now we can go further with what we want to build and what we're building and, and uh, what we want to do. However, these properties sit vacant, many now posing safety hazards and, many locals and real estate brokers say, diminishing the potential for the area. Business owners and developers want results, sooner rather than later. To those critics, Mana said he's reached 98% site acquisition, allowing him now to move full speed ahead with his master plan. Picture this, a marketplace for fresh ingredients and spices, office space for tech firms, design spaces for up and coming artists, co-working spaces for lawyers. In other words, a mini city in downtown Miami. Yeah, within one year, we're gonna see more action, much more action, okay? Because now, as you see, we are, visu we are visualizing, designing, doing the whole thing. Within a year, I better see movement because people say they're getting antsy, so what, what should I say? You know, it costing me during this time when I don't see the end, and I hope I see I, I see what the vision that we are trying to, you know, in my time, in my lifetime, you know, just to think that it's going to take five years to do, uh, you know, this building and that building. And uh, I would like to see it much earlier done, you know. Eager locals will have to wait and see whether Mana sticks with his latest schedule or continues to redefine what it means to run on Miami time.